call Jeremy here. Let's call Jeremy. Where are we going? What's going on here? Let's call Jeremy Ray. Bam. All right. Hey, Carl. How's it going? Hey, Jeremy. Good. How you doing, brother? All right. Yeah. So, um, we're on our way. Where we? What are we doing today? Well. I figured um, it's almost lunchtime. If you want to grab a bite to eat, we can go to uh, our friend David's spot, um, the La Canisteria Wagyu. Yeah, that sounds good. You heard of that place? I think so. It's all over like TikTok lately. I heard. Yeah, they make some good stuff over there. So we can go try. They make some like gourmet sandwiches and stuff. So we can try something over there if you want. All right, and then we're we gonna skate too, right? Yeah, we'll go hit Brea Park and see uh, what's up over there, and then uh, maybe we'll roll on from there. We'll figure it out. I got an idea. How, how about we go to that La Carnaceria Wagyu spot, check uh -huh. that spot out, and we get the sandwiches to go, and we have a picnic at the Brea Park after we skate. Yeah, that works. Let's do that. Okay, cool. We're on our way. We'll see you at the uh, the spot, the de the deli. All right. The car All right. La Carnaceria. Yeah, I'll meet you over there. All right, cool. Sounds good. All right, see you in a little bit, bro. All right. All right. Late. Later. Let's go. Yes. Let's go do this. Watch me get an accent. <laughs> oh, my bad. Let's get trouble. Oh, yeah, we gotta find out where the spot's at, too, huh? Eight minutes away. Here we go. Alright, we're on another roast beef episode with Jeremy Ray here. He's gonna going? share his favorite spot with us and where are we going? Right now we're in Brea at La Canisteria Wagyu. Check the spot out. Yeah, let's go. Oh, thank you, hey. sir. Thank you. Alright. Alright. Hello. 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 Actually, we saw it on um, Instagram. Instagram. We saw some posts on uh, certain things they were doing that we hadn't seen anywhere else. Uh -huh. So I looked into it. Turns out, you know, my boy David here, he uh, was a skateboarder and knew from skateboarding. So we chatted about that. I came in, checked out the spot, and uh, he gave me the run on the land. Like, he's got so much stuff to choose from here. Like, really high-end quality meats that you won't find in other spots. So it's a cool place to just poke around and see what's what. Okay. And uh, yeah, so I came by and I dropped off a board to him one of the days to say oh. thank you and uh, just to share, you know. This is, this is your yep. local spot then, huh? Yeah. Yep. This is where you get all your meats from when you do like Taco Tuesdays or something? Yeah, we come from a, I married into a big Mexican family. So we do lots of grilling, lots of barbecues, lots of, you know, just parties all the time. So, you know, we'll come in here and get something special and oh, uh, nice. cook it up on our grill. Yes. Yeah. So. What's your favorite that you usually get when you do the party at your house? I get whatever he recommends. Usually there's something like that just came in or something that's new or something that uh, we haven't tried. So he'll point me in the right direction and we'll try it out. And I've liked everything so far. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, this is David right here, right? What's up, Jeremy? How David, you doing, brother? You doing? Yeah, good to see you. Like, what's up, brother? Hey. Thanks for having us today. Oh, you're welcome, you're welcome, welcome. So, share us. so basically the way it works here is that we work with some of the best farms in Australia, some of the best farms in Japan. Uh, we work with uh, some of the best Black Angus prime farms in the U.S. 95% uh, of our cases is halal, um, and then we have a refrigerated butcher room right behind you. Um, all the spices and stuff that we bring here are all chef driven. Everybody in here at, that's back here has at one point worked at a restaurant or is a chef. Um, so everybody's very knowledgeable here. That's why we're able to help Jeremy when he comes in, you know, and give him the knowledge behind every single cut, how you process it, how you cook it, and everything like that, temperature wise, seasonings. Um, pretty much everything that we do here is hands on, you know. Um, besides the spices, but they're all chef friends of mine that make them, so we know the high quality ingredients, and that's kind of what we stick to our market. Uh, the case changes seasonal, so this next week you're gonna see like a lot of roast in here already seasoned, ready to go for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's coming up right in the corner, right? We always have burgers, we always have sausages. The chicken will rotate uh, some of them flavors differently. We have our staples, 
our carne asada as well, but we have some of the best Wagyu at the most affordable prices that you can get because we are direct with the farm. So that's kind of how you go about it. Good. And then, not only that, we were actually the first ones to have the Wagyu deli uh, anywhere. We have Wagyu pastrami here that we make a bunch of cool sandwiches with. And we'll show you guys that, you guys can try to taste it and stuff like that. But yeah, it's amazing what we're doing here. And the growth, we're actually opening location number two in Costa Mesa, off 17th and Tustin, hopefully with the next month and a half to two months. Wow. Hopefully sooner, but that's kind of the time frame. And you're doing another spot too in Anaheim? Yeah, so Anaheim's our steakhouse. Uh, that's going to open up too. We're going to be servicing a lot of the steaks from here at the Anaheim. It's at the Anaheim Packing House. And that's scheduled to open December 8th, so around the corner. Uh, so look out for a big uh, Wagyu uh, New Year's party. Yeah, we go epic, we go epic party. Yes, and if you go. don't know much about the meats and stuff and you're just getting started, you don't know much about grilling and stuff, no. and you just want to up your burger game, these burgers are amazing. And they're only three bucks. Yeah, it'll instantly step up your burger game you and that'll, that? that'll get you in the door. You see the package? Yeah. You yeah. So these things are amazing. Wow. And it just instantly elevates the burger that you're going to have. So. You know, up Wagyu patty. Yeah, if you start with that, you're not going wrong. Dude. And then from there, you can start picking out other stuff to try, and they'll steer you in the right direction and mm. tell you what's good. This is looking yeah. juicy already. Yeah, I've had those things. They're amazing. Wow. Yeah. What does this go for? Uh, that's a six pack, but a three dollars a patty. Nice. Right. So super nice. affordable. Yeah. We make it affordable because we're not here to make money on burgers, right? right. Like, we want everybody to be able to afford it. So if you never try Wagyu, go ahead and try a $3 burger. Dude, that's a great Anybody burger. coming to afford it. Step in. Burgers now are out yep. there like 10 bucks. Correct. Yeah. So now you get a Wagyu burger, buy yourself a bag of buns. With five bucks, you can literally build yourself a burger, yeah. a Wagyu burger. Gourmet. Yeah. You yeah. throw that thing on a brioche bun or like a King's Hawaiian bun, throw some oh, yeah. King's Hawaiian bomb because it's yeah. sweet. So it kind of yeah. like helps with the fat content. But yeah, it's bomb. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have too many of them, but... They're good. Uh, once in a while. They're good. They're good. They're it's good. a good treat. Yeah. And then our number one steak is actually going to be our Wagyu uh, ribeye, which is here. Uh, and then we do have our Wagyu pastrami that we sell. We portion and we sell. It is halal certified. Um, it's always like in a 16 ounce portion. So like, let's just say you want to come and grab deli meat by yourself and you can come make it at home. You go ahead and do that. Is that the same pastrami you use? That's the, the same pastrami thing? that we use for the sandwiches. Yeah. And then we process the sandwiches over here. But yeah, I mean, our uh, most popular sandwich is going to be the smoked Wagyu pastrami. It's like super cheesy, the bread gets baked locally, uh, it's just all around good. Nice. Uh, super rich, so. Can I look at that bone-in Wagyu ribeye? Yeah, for sure, brother. There you go. Wanna take a look at that Ooh, thing? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Look at this thing. Yeah. That's actually one that we have on sale right now for the holiday, $39.99 a pound. Ooh. About 2.5, 2.8 pounds exactly. Um, so you think about it. Uh, two, like three to four people can eat from that. You get some veggies, you get some mashed potato, you got yourself a good meal. Have you had that's, one of these yet? That's a nice thick cut with the bone still in too. Have you so, had one yet? Yeah. What I do with this, I usually, before I put it on the grill, I'll put a little olive oil mm -hmm. and put the seasoning that we like on it. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, just hit it low and slow nice. and they come out great. Ooh. Yeah. I got to try one of those one day. Yeah. Nice. And then look, it's like a tomahawk style too. Yeah, so all the tomahawks are prime. The lowest grade we carry here is prime. So prime and wagyu are the, that's it. It's all top notch. That's it. Yeah. I see that. You can't go wrong with any of them. Yeah, look at that. Thing. Oh, I've never had a tomahawk before, dude. It's pretty much the same thing <laughs> without the bone. Right. That's right, huh? This, this just looks different because the, the big bone, huh? People like the bam bam, yeah. you know? <laughs> we tried one of these yet? The first time we did our tomahawks, we had a grill full of them. I think we did like no six way. or seven at the same time. Yeah, and uh, we did them on the grill first and then oven cooked the rest and uh, just split the time between the two and they came out perfect. I got lucky that we nailed it on the first what? try because you don't want to do it wrong. You know, you want to make right. sure you're taking special care when you cook something like this. And we just... You just wait, just buy a thermometer. Yeah. Put that shit in, prime. take it out. Prime. Yep. Remind me of prime skateboards. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Right on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, what else we got? What else can we see? I mean, check these out right here. Okay. I'll show you guys right here. So this is called Denver steak. Uh, this is actually a short rib. We slice it up and it's actually, this is, after it's been sliced, it becomes a Denver steak. But you can see high marble, super soft. Super high marble. You can braise this uh, with some red wine, some root vegetables and stuff like that. Make a nice short rib with mashed potatoes and stuff. Delicious. That's probably what I'll be cooking for Thanksgiving. But what, what, yeah. Is that like a New York cut? Is this it? is a Denver. Denver, Denver, Denver steak. Right. Actually, New York looks pretty similar to that. You get that nice fat cap. Yeah. But this is actually a Denver. Uh, the Denver's come from short rib. 
Yeah, wow, I never heard that Denver yeah, cut. Yeah, I haven't tried the Denver cut yet yeah, either. Yeah, it's so. delicious. A lot of people grill them and they'll slice them up really thin and you do like an appetizer. Right. Appetizer? The yeah. appetizer. Yeah, I've had the thin ones with the bone in down the side and uh, do like a Korean short rib oh, yeah, style. Yeah. So that's like the thicker version of that yeah, without the bone. Okay. So those are on this side right here. That's the fun thing about coming here. You'll see stuff that you haven't seen and haven't tried. Right. So you can start poking around and just trying new stuff Each and time. experiment a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So expand your, your menu. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah, like five different kinds of chicken we always have. We always have five different flavors, four to five. Just because like, we got a lot of people that want a meal prep. So they'll come in here and do the little chicken meal prep. What flavors you got right here? Uh, so you have al pastor. You have our house seasoning. Uh, th one this one's going to be the sesame, right? Oh, teriyaki se se uh, sesame. Uh-huh. And then you have the adobo, the yellow adobo, and then this is actually a chimichurri one that we do. Yeah. So chicken breast, chicken thigh, uh, and 100% halal certified. Here's all our house marinade stuff. This is going to be all our black Angus prime carne asada, which is also halal. And then that's our house one, and then we have, always have like a sale one. So this one right here is $11.99 a pound, which right now you can't really find anywhere, right? But we're so really close to the, the farm. Uh, and we buy so much of it that we're able to give discounts like that. Nice. And here's those other short ribs that I've had before. Um, this is a thicker cut too, so this would cook up real nice. The Korean those style. Those would be juicy. Yeah, we do like, when I would do those, we do Korean style. I love those, dude. Yeah, I love and they those. always come out like good. Like gnaw around the bone. Oh, yeah. Gnaw, that's so yummy. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, I'm ready for a sandwich. Yeah, let's, let's see these sandwiches. Let's see these sandwiches, guys. Right. Cool. Yeah, right. all right. Hi. Hi. Um, let's see. Jeremy. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. What's that? Dave is going to pick our sandwiches. Whatever he'd recommend. Whatever yeah. David recommends. Surprise us, David. We'll take care of it. Don't worry. Thank you, sir. Got you. Certified bag of deliciousness. Looking forward to these sandwiches. Yes. Let's try it out. Let's go skate. Yeah, thank you, David. Well, you Appreciate it. Salsa. You. Yep. Burn twice. Yeah, <laughs> right on. Have fun. Yep. There you go. Whenever you're in Brea, stop by here, Wagon La Carasaria, and then go skate before or after. You won't be disappointed. The bombs are these sandwiches are fire. Right up the street from the park. Stop in. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a good All day. Right. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Brea Park, Jeremy. We have a little bromance yep. picnic. <laughs> Let's do this. Well, we got the infamous stairs right there. Right at the bottom of the 12. Whoa. Lots All of right. people have slid across that ground right there. <laughs> oh, dang, dude. <laughs> Battle wounds. Yep. So this, what would you get? What would you pick? This one's the smoked turkey. Let's see it. Should we un unveil it? Yeah. I got, the, I got the hot house right here. All right. I'll show you the hot house here. So this one's smoked turkey pastrami. Why is there half missing, dude? Did you eat <laughs> half on the way here? <laughs> you couldn't I, I got a little, little hungry. You couldn't Look at that thing. <laughs> so all layered up. Got some avocado in there too. Look at that thing. Ooh. Yeah. That's looking good to see this hot house right here. Oh, snap. Check out this hot house. Oh, that's one on the marbled rye too, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that one. I saw that. <laughs> oh, man. Hot house. Mm. That looks serious. I'm going to take a bite. Take a bite of yours. 
Let's All see. right. Mmm. Mm mm. All kinds of goodness. Right? Mm hmm. Dude. This stuff's tasty, dude. Mm hmm. You see how big of a bite I had to take? That's a proper sandwich. Probably gotta do like mouth exercises, like warm ups before I eat <laughs> this thing. Like stretches. Mmm. This is mm -hmm. good. One more bite here. Mmm. That is yummy. Let's see what else we got here. You gotta try out that salsa. Okay. What's that homemade salsa, huh? Mm hmm. This is their uh, just regular red salsa, the salsa roja. Mm -hmm. But man, it's got a kick. That's right. You know it's good when it makes your nose run, and this will get you there. Ooh. Mm hmm. And the seasoning on the chips is like, um, I don't know. Well, Added. It's like that. What kind of seasoning is that that they use on like seafood and crabs and stuff? The old spice old seasoning? Bay? The old bay? It tastes like oh. it's a similar to that. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That, that's, this sauce is kicking right now. I can feel it. Yeah. It's a creeper. Creeper salsa right here. Mmm. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Here, check out this one. Open that one. What is that one? Southwest. See what we got. I always think of the airlines when I hear that. Southwest. <laughs> Southwest Airlines. Yep. What are we looking at? Oh, another marbled rye specialty. Look at that thing. Mm. Let's open it up and see what we got in there. Oh, look at that. So the Southwest. Was that um, another pastrami, like a Wagyu pastrami? Uh, let me see. I got a little cheat sheet here. Yeah. Southwest Turkey good. Panini. All right. Avocado, pepper jack, house mayo, barbecue sauce, applewood, bacon. Does that seem like it is? No. No, maybe it's a different one. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's hidden in there? Yeah. That looks good, though. All right. Well, I got this one here, too. This one's called the steak. I think it's the prime steak sandwich. Let's check this one out. It's like Christmas. Yeah. Edible. Oh, yeah. That's the one I saw him making in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mmm. Dude, I'm gonna have to eat half of this. <laughs> I'm taking half. I'm gonna switch it up. There we go. There we go. You can eat all that. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead. All right. So what we got here is uh, basically Brea 2.0. The whole park got redone recently. And uh, they tore everything down to the dirt. Rebuilt it all. The design's somewhat similar to the old one with a few new additions. So we got a new quarter pipe up here. All this got expanded a little bit. They added onto the spine, a little extension part right there and made the spine longer. And uh, basically improved all the transitions too around this whole thing. And we got a step up, which is one of the main features we didn't have before. So, so Euro gap. So, and we also got bump to rail and a few other things that weren't here before and the bowl got all redone. So now it's a huge bowl. Um, the other one was really mini and just uh, hard to even keep your speed. The uh, transitions were all a little off. This one's uh, deep and scary, but it's fun.
There you have it, foodies. When you're Brea, check out La Canaceria Wagyu. Before and after, got the Brea Skate Park right here too. Thanks to Jeremy for sharing the spot with us. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching. Roast beef. We out. Get some. <laughs>